Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And we're really not seeing any uh, icing issues right now. There might be a little patchy fog down there in South County, but in general, we're looking at a nice afternoon. Let's take a look at what's going on. Our live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're scanning Rhode Island right now, and we're not finding any rain out there. The high clouds continue to work their way into southern New England, and we're going to continue to see that throughout the afternoon hours, just kind of dimming that sunshine, maybe a, a milky appearance to the sky. Providence right now is at 45 degrees with a wind from the south southeast at 12 miles an hour and mostly cloudy skies being reported, but just lots of thin cirrus clouds. Gloucester at 45, Newport 44. Gloucester just went down to 44. New Bedford right now is at 47. Temperatures elsewhere. Taunton already up to 48 degrees. We've got 42 in Charlestown up in Smithfield, 44 degrees right now. Picasso Bay Retirement Living in Johnston off Hartford Avenue, 47 with a wind from the south southwest at five miles an hour. Satellite radar picture showing really not a whole bunch going on across New England. A little patchy fog and a lot of these cirrus clouds streaming northward out ahead of an area of low pressure that's going to be working its way northward but staying far enough offshore that we're probably not going to be seeing much, if any, precipitation from it. And we also have a cold front off to our west. That cold front will be working its way eastward throughout the nighttime tonight and just kind of weakening. And we're also going to be seeing that area of low pressure get a little closer to some extra clouds around throughout the evening hours and overnight. Notice the showers for the most part staying awake. Nantucket, maybe Cape Cod getting clipped with some showers tomorrow. We might find a sprinkle or a flurry and that's really about it. Just some extra clouds around for your Thursday. Let's get a look at your future cast for this afternoon at the bus stop. It'll be fairly pleasant sunshine mixing with these high clouds. Temperatures in the upper 40s. Let's pinpoint it for you. 48 in Central Falls, 48 degrees in downtown Providence, 49 over there in um, on the east side, 50 in Warwick, 47 in Riverside and Barrington. Over in Cranston, about 50 degrees. Let's take you down to the south coast. Down here, temperatures in the upper, mid to upper 40s. 47 degrees in Westerly, 46 Charlestown, 49 degrees in Wickford. Let's take you on up into northern Rhode Island. Temperatures over here, about 47 in Boroughville and Situate, Johnston, about 49 degrees in Cumberland, 48 southeastern Massachusetts. Between Fall River and New Bedford, we're looking at high temperatures around 50 degrees with a blend of sunshine and clouds. The evening commute, giving it the green light. A lot better than this morning. No icing issues, mainly clear skies. Going to be dry with temperatures falling back through the 40s. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. And we are expecting to see some extra clouds around on Thursday, about 44 degrees, so a little cooler. And with the uh, limited sunshine, it'll feel a little cooler too. Friday, 43 degrees with a blend of sun and clouds. Saturday, still look at the chance for some snow showers. And notice how it gets colder for this holiday weekend. 30s on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, although nothing extreme there, nothing like what we had last week. But it will get noticeably colder. It looks dry for Sunday and Monday. Late in the day on Tuesday, it's possible we could be dealing with some more rain and snow showers. Don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast and all your breaking news and video with you. Just point your web browser to WPRI.com from any computer, smartphone, or tablet. So a beautiful afternoon. And by the way, there's a, something called a micro moon mm. in the sky tonight. You can check out my blog post on the uh, weather blog page. Hey, you always have nice detailed information on that kind of stuff. Thanks, TJ. And now a quick look at what we're working on for Ivan News beginning live at 5. A local couple is forced to move.